Happy birthday! The next year has got a lot in store for you. High school graduation, first year of college, maybe your first time living away from your parents. You're a legal adult now, and while that comes with a lot of fun new privileges, it also comes with the biggest and coolest of adult responsibilities. Managing your finances. So what are some things that you can do with your finances to get your adult life off to a good start? Let's take a look. Step one, get your own bank account. Whether you got $1 to your name or 1,000, those dollars need a home in your very own bank account. You might already have money in a joint account owned by you and your parents, but that won't automatically become yours when you turn 18. You need a whole new one. Specifically, you're looking to get two kinds of accounts from the same place a checking account, and a savings account. You've got a few options of where to go. Retail banks have plenty of locations, and you probably have one near where you live. They also have many of their own ATMs where you can deposit or withdraw cash without paying a fee. Online banks don't have locations. All your banking is done through websites and mobile apps. However, their savings accounts usually earn more interest. Credit unions are like retail banks but are run non-for-profit. They usually have fewer locations and are usually easier on their consumers with regards to fees. Once you've decided where to bank, you'll need to sign up for your accounts. For retail banks and credit unions, this usually means meeting in person with a representative to sign a contract. If you have money in a joint account, you'll need to transfer the money from your old account to your new grown-up account. This policy can differ a little bit between institutions, so make sure to ask both how to do it. One thing you'll need for sure though, is your routing number and your account number for all of your accounts. Congratulations, you did it. Now on to the next step. Step two, pull your credit report. If you've heard the other adults in your life talk about buying a house or a car, then you've probably heard the term credit score. This is a number between 300 and 850 that banks can see whenever you need to borrow money. It measures how responsibly you've handled borrowing in the past. Here, you're checking to make sure that nobody has opened any accounts or borrowed any money in your name while the real you has been too young to do any of that. That's identity theft when it happens. To check your score, you can get a credit report for free from websites like Credit Karma or from some budgeting apps. Most 18 year olds should not have anything here, so make sure if you see anything, discuss with an adult that you trust and determine if you need to contest your credit report. Step three, create your first budget. If you spend money, you need a budget. It's important that you put all your income and all your expenses into that budget. If you can anticipate getting money from it or spending money on it into the budget, they go. It's still important to have a budget even if you're on your parents' dime. It can keep you on track saving for the things that you want, and it keeps your financial skills sharp for when you're more independent and your financial situation is more complex. There's a few different ways to actually make a budget. The easiest is pen and paper, literally writing everything down. You can put it on a wall or a bulletin board as a reminder of how much you're saving and what you intend to spend your money on. Excel budgets are another great resource. If you don't have Excel, Numbers or Google Sheets is fine. These programs can do a lot of calculation for you, which is really useful if you want to go back and review past budgets compared to what you actually made and spent. Budgeting apps are mobile friendly and can automate some of the budgeting. These usually plug into your bank to pull data on your income and expenses, which is a great time saver versus other methods. Got it? Let's keep going. Step 4. Start building credit. You might be wondering how someone goes from no credit score to good credit score. Like I said before, it measures how responsibly you've handled borrowing in the past. If you want to build it up, you'll need to do just that. Borrow responsibly. Thankfully, there's a pretty safe way to do it. Secured cards are special credit cards for people without any credit history that require you to upfront an amount of money, usually $100, in order to open the card. If, after a period of time, usually 12 months, you've always paid your credit card bill, then you can turn your secured card into a regular credit card. 
even though with a secured card you're technically borrowing your own money, it still counts for building credit and can give your credit score a good head start. So those were four key things that you can do right now to start your adult financial life in the right direction. Together, we learned how to open a bank account, check our credit score, write a budget, and start building credit. As a former 18 year old myself, I wish I'd done some of these things sooner. But now that you're in the know, you can be one of the cool, smart young adults that knows what a credit union is or has a plan to save for your first car.